Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to be looking at Emacs. Crazy. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and look at Linux and specifically BSPWM. Although I'm going to put a little spin on it because that's what you got to do. Uh, I'm going to look at installing it on Ubuntu 20.04, Focal Fusa, which isn't actually released yet. It's released in April. Um, so this is a daily image that I'm going to do this on. Uh, I've got it running in a VM just because I'm not ready to commit my life to it yet. But depending on how it goes, maybe I will commit my life to it. Um, currently I use i3, which you may have seen flash up in some of the Emacs videos that I do. Uh, but I figure, why not try this BSPWM that everyone's talking about? So, let's not hang around, let's get on with it. So, uh, BSPWM is a, basically it stands for Binary Space Partitioning Window Manager. Uh, so it's a tiling window manager. Um, interestingly, it require it is really basic. It doesn't really do that much by itself. You need other things on top of it for it to work. For example, uh, no, there are no key bindings or anything built in. Like i3, that's all built in. For BSPWM, you need a third-party program. I mean, the, it, it says a third-party program, but it's by the same author, Baskerville. Um, called, well, the acronym is SXHKD, which is Simple X Hockey Demon. So I'm going to focus on getting those two things working today, um, and then we can go from there uh, in other videos. So we need to open a terminal, which, how do you do that? Terminal. I'm so used to a window manager, um, a tiling window manager. So here we are in the terminal. So all we need to do is sudo apt, well, hang on, shall I make it bigger, can I? There we go, sudo apt install uh, bspwm. Actually, forget that, cancel. First, I should sudo apt update. So obviously, if you're doing this on a different, different uh, distribution, you may not have apt, you may have, I don't know, pacman or any of those other things so you know and you'll have to you know you can sudo your um package manager that comes with it there'll be a way to search and i can search for it and it'll I'll, then i can see that it comes up um so we'll install bspwm uh, i also want to install kakun which is a file editor it's like vim slightly different you can look it up so um, BSPWM, it also installs, so there's BSPWM, Lemon Bar, some libraries, and it actually includes, this is a, I think this must be a meta package, because it also includes, this install also includes SXHKD, um, which is exactly what we need. So let's install that. While that's happening, can I open another, it just goes back to that one, how do I open another, just click there. Um, I also want to, uh, I also need to um, make a couple of direct directories for the config. So bspwm and sshkd, S -S 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 yeah, oh, there's the command. Okay, so I can close that one now. Okay, that's done. Um, so by default, there is no configuration included. Uh, it doesn't put anything in your uh, home directory or anything like that. So we're going to have to, or what I'm, we're not going to have to, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the example configurations that come with BSPWM uh, in the docs, uh, copy that over to my home directory, config directory, in those two direct directories that I just created, uh, and use that as the basic to build upon. So we need to copy from user share uh doc bspw bspwm examples so we want the bspwmrc and we want that to, to go to our config bspwm directory and then we want to do the same oops for the sx and that wants to go to you guessed it the sxhkd okay um that's not all we need to do. So the reason that I installed Cocoon is because we need to go in here and we need to uh, edit because currently nothing will happen. So I want to get a minimal setup working 
Um, but now, right now, if I log out and log in and I try and do anything, well, I won't be able to do anything because the the most basic thing that you need <laughs> in any um, in any kind of session is a terminal. And as you can see here, the default terminal that this is set up, this example is set up with, is yarxvt, which don't have installed. So I'm just going to change this to GNOME terminal because that's what we have by default uh, in, in Ubuntu 20.04. If I save that out, uh, I should at this point be able to exit the close this log out. So when you have multiple sessions uh, with Ubuntu uh, 20.04, I think it's changed slightly. I think there used to be a different different mechanism. I'm not sure whether the um, the login display manager different or, or really but if you go down here there's this little cog after you've clicked on your name and you can select bspwm you can also select ubuntu on wayland and Noman remind me kiosk uh, bspwm login and hopefully we should get just get a straight up blank screen but we'll see or maybe it just stays purple i don't know shall we let's try opening i'm going to click press super return Hopefully we'll get a terminal. Ah, we did get a terminal. Wonderful. So from here, um, we're in BSPWM, so I could launch Firefox from here. Uh, all of those things. So it's working. I can open another, another window, another one, another one, another one. I should be able to close them with Super W. Yep, that works. Um, so all that's working, I guess. One last thing that's worth having is, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to start everything by having to type the name here. It'd be nice to have some kind of like launcher. And if we, if we just look in the um, config as X, as if we look in here again, we'll see that the um, the program launcher here is set to super space. If I do that now, nothing happens, but it, it tries to run D menu run. So let's just quickly install that before I leave, just so that if you are following along, you can at least, you know, launch things. So D, D, and U. So, okay, so it's just going to install all suckless tools, I guess, instead of the menu. Okay, so it installs ST term. Well, interesting. Maybe I'll mess around with that later. So once this is done, I should be able to uh, super space. And there we go, we've got D menu at the top, so now I can do Firefox. I can launch what else is there? Um I can launch cheese. Isn't there no isn't there some uh, games installed? I can launch calculator. We can do like one plus one equals equals. Well anyway, there we go. Um it works. That's all there is to this video, I guess. Um, I am going to, I'm going to look at uh, other things I want to look at with this are obvious things like theming. At the minute, it seems it looks broken. It doesn't look nice. Uh, I look at some other kind of, um, you know, I don't want to say minimalist, but like other programs um, to use like D menu and uh, file managers and things like that. Obviously this comes with files, which um, should actually just work if I, oh, hang on, do file, I'll be, yeah, Nautilus, fair enough. Yeah, so you can open Nautilus and there you go. We've got the theme and everything working. Um, it, looks, it doesn't look too bad. I'd, if anything, I'd get rid of these borders around the windows. But anyway, we can get into that in another video. <laughs> Already I'm thinking about it, so there might be another video fairly soon, maybe at the beginning of next week, where I'll start doing some of these things. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what, what you want to see, whether you want to see um, me focus on theming to start off with, or if you have questions about other things, or, you know, to get other things working. I mean, there's probably so much that I've done now, um, so, many, so many things that I've broken just by doing this uh, that I won't be aware of until I start using it. Like I said, this is just kind of an experiment. I've not looked at this really before. I've kind of gone through this quickly to figure out some of the things that I had to do, but I haven't been using this. Um, this is in a VM, and if all goes well, 
when 2004 comes out, I will consider doing this uh, to my own day-to-day -day, um, computer or laptop uh, and, and just to experiment and see what happens, see what breaks. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. I mean, it helps the channel out. Uh, and if you're on Library, which is an alternative platform, there's a link to that. If you're on YouTube, there's a link to that in the description. Uh, Library is a decentralized uh, video sharing platform that has like crypto coins and stuff, you know, built in, which is cool, but actually it's just a really good platform. So check that link out. And if you are already on Library, um, consider following and tipping. Uh, and that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. See ya, mate.